Hello guys, I'm Kamran from Graphics Runes and in the second part I'm going to tell you how to import some objects in Element 3D. <coughs> so importing is pretty easy but uh, other than that I'm going to tell you some amazing resources of getting some uh, high quality 3D models for free like this one. The free3dmodels.com just change the name and uh, as you can see you can get some really nice models from right here as I got some from there so the link is in the description so that you can check out the website anytime and it is 100 percent completely free so come to the uh, topic here is the scene setup in order to import some object you click on the scene setup and here on this import button from here you can just um, go to your model and just import it out like I'm going to do with uh, a model I just downloaded free from the free3dmodels.com and it's old red truck so here it is I'm not going to um, go into details of the materials right now because there's a separate part for that so right now uh, you can just increase or decrease the scale of your object and there are some orientations you can do manually like these so you don't need to do that and flip X Y so as you can change some of your objects details which you really don't prefer don't, don't go for anchor offset or something like that and the UV is uh, from default alright auto normals is pretty better it makes your object really nice looking so as you can see it was for that and now it got something um, nice and realistic but uh, still want to say that it's an old red truck just leave it as it was so there is an edge threshold um, it really doesn't matter what it does and the last option is inward normals which is disgusting as you can see it is disgusting um, it is not destroying uh, your object right now but if there is some kind of text it's completely destroyed so here you can import uh, an object but in element from element v.5 1.5 um, there's a no new option to import a 3D sequence that you can import an animation into Element 3D. Um, so just click on that. But the problem is that you can only import uh, OBG sequence files. Um, that's pretty bad, but uh, it's all right. So now I'm going to import uh, uh, an animation. So this is a guy right there, and it's a complete animation. So now, as you can see, uh, along with transform options you got some parameters of baked animation um, usually just let it be to normal or if you want to check out that my animation is working or not you can just uh, use a frame offset check or get it's moving oh nice sorry <coughs> so I'm just going to delete that and there as you can see we get some uh, not only one box but a ser uh, sequence of boxes that shows that it is an animation so uh, this is the playback speed if you take it to zero the animation will not play and uh, this helps pretty well when uh, sometimes you need uh, to stop the animation for some time that uh, you want an event to occur and then your animation will start as in my video of uh, wanted to bullet tornado you will be able to see the same animation and the link is in the description and as you can see it's on the screen also so you can use that <coughs> for some um, that kind of simulation so hit OK and now as you can see this is our character which is moving but you must see that after uh, moving it starts again it loops up again so now in the next tutorial I'm going to uh, go and check out some group uh, problems right there um, so how to use them and what is null movement and no controls so stay tuned for our next tutorial and also if you like our videos please like and subscribe so that we can make more and more of them